this edit finna be a breeze. This edit finna be a, this edit finna be a breeze. <laughs>What's good, folks? It's your boy Dookie back again with Bang. Budget and new gear reviews that we get the best Bang for your tech dollars. Now, I spend a lot of time on my computer and I'm usually editing. And I do it in a variety of programs, whether it's Adobe Premiere Pro, Lightroom, or even editing music in either Cubase or Reaper or something like that. Now, if you have to edit on your computer, whether you do it full time or you're doing it in your free time in between time, you probably want to do it faster. Now, before I did a video on the editor's keys, Adobe Premiere backlit keyboard, that showed you all of the shortcuts to really help your edits move along quicker. Now, I still believe the fastest way to speed up your edit is to learn the program in and out. There are a bunch of shortcuts in whatever program you're using. Now, once you commit those to memory, your edit speeds will increase immensely. It's going down like you just gonna be breezing. This edit finna be a breeze. Now I gotta give a shout out to the homie Adam of Epost Vox. I hope I said that right. I'm gonna put a link to his channel up here. He's the first person that I saw talking about this particular product. And as soon as he did, I was like, I gotta add that to my wish list for real. Fortunately, the good folks over at Contour Design reached out and said, would you like to try the Shuttle Pro V2? And I was like, hell yeah, baby. Now what exactly is the Shuttle Pro? It's a peripheral that you can add to your desktop to help speed up your edit. It takes a lot of that functionality, all of those shortcuts I was telling you about, and puts it right at your fingertips. Now I've had it for over a week now and I gotta be honest, incorporating it into my workflow was kind of intimidating at first. You have nine buttons at the top, four buttons at the bottom, two on the sides, and a two-phase turning wheel in the middle. Now the beautiful thing about this, all of these buttons are programmable. Download the software to help tweak it to your specific likings in whatever program you're using. Now unlike a lot of YouTubers who swear up and down by the Logitech MX Master, I'm more of a fan of my Logitech G602. I love the six programmable buttons on the side that I can go into any program, especially Premiere, and set exactly to what I wanted to do. Now, pairing that with the Shuttle Pro, I hardly ever touch my keyboard, for real. And I've noticed that my editing speed has gone down immensely. Now, like I said, on the Shuttle Pro, there are 15 programmable buttons. The top nine ones, they come with custom labels that you can take the little thing off, slide them in there, and then you can see right there at your fingertips what they are. Now, I think one of the keys for me is the 360 rotating dial in the middle surrounded by the secondary dial. Now, the secondary outside dial is like a play and rewind where you can kind of move it forward and backwards. But the one in the middle is 360 with little clicks that really lets you fine tune where you want your cursor to be. Being able to have that type of control right at my fingertips, man, so next level. Now, one of the things I love about this is the ergonomic design. I have big hands, so you can see right here, I can easily go from the top buttons, just touching the button down here or right here in the middle, and it feels really good. I mean, it, it was almost secondhand once I started using it. The learning curve may be steep at first, but once you get into it, it flows so easily. Anytime that you can save helps you value yourself better and allows you to be more efficient in doing what you need to do. Now, like I said before, the versatility of the Shuttle Pro is another place where you come out winning. It doesn't just work in Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut. It works in the majority of the editing suites out there, also in music editing suites, photography stuff. It even works in your browser, man. Sometimes you just need something to be a little bit bigger. And use the scroll wheel, blows it up. Man, it's just that easy. It's really fun. It really does what it does, you know what I'm saying? Plain and simple. Now, currently, you can pick the Shuttle Pro V2 up for $99. Honestly, I gotta say, if you're gonna use this to help improve your workflow, that that is well worth it, man. So once you start cutting time out of your edits, you can apply that on more edits. You can apply that on time with your family, playing your Nintendo Switch, watching NBA basketball. So I definitely think it's worth it for $99. But the folks over at Contour Design say, if you went over there and you holla at them and when you purchase it, you throw in the code DVZN20, you could be able to save 20%, knock a little bit off, make that purchase even much more of a bet, a definite win. You know your boy Dookie was gonna hook you up with the budget, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you go check them out. But honestly, I wanna know what you think. You think this has a place in your workflow? Leave a comment down below and let your boy know. 
Now, I got to get up out of here, man. Thankfully, I got the Shuttle Pro, so I'm going to be able to edit this fast so I can get back to watching this NBA basketball, man. Leave a comment. Let me know if you watch basketball, who you rooting for, who you going for, all right? Because I'm, I'm all in. This is my time of the year. It's your kid, Fold Dookie, man. Holla at your boy. Woo! Got to get to it. Let's go. Get this.